Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and give this video a like. Thank you. S smash that like. Also, smash the subscribe button on our podcast below in the description. Get 20% off at wineaccess.com slash ham. We use it. We love it. We send it. We order it for ourselves. It's great. Yep. How do you beat it? Wineaccess.com slash ham. 20% off. Get it on, fellas and top, ladies. Top five games of the NFL week one slate, John. Let's talk about that. I did think we could also just rattle through every game because there's something to like about every game. But let's start top five games. Um, what do you think? I, I've made a list of like seven that I think are candidates here. I think for the number one game, let's start at the top and go backwards. Browns Chiefs is a candidate for the number one game. Cowboys Bucks is a candidate for the number one game. Seahawks Colts is a candidate for the number one game. Steelers Bills, Ravens Raiders, I'd give candidate for the number one game. Um, now there are some other games you could make a case for, but to me those are the those are the real candidates for the number one game. Do you see anybody I'm missing at number one? I, I feel like that's the group of the top five. I would say the one curveball, Sunday night football, if Justin Fields is making his debut against the Rams, like that's that game might end up not playing great, but going in, I think the hype would be pretty strong. Like he's a pretty powerful name. Like that's a big deal. Ohio it, State. Like wow. that thing would do a it's gonna do a big number anyway. But Justin Fields makes his debut Sunday night football against one of the best teams in the league, Matt Stafford, too. In L.A.? That's, that's right, the sweet. Stafford element. So are you giving that number one? It's, so, so you make no, a good case for I, why I'd it's top five. No, because I'd say it's probably 50-50 he's going to be the star. I, I, I think you nailed the group. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'd probably just at number one lead Cowboys. Bucks is pretty damn good, you know, given yeah. the power of the Cowboys. Dak coming off the big contract. Tom Brady defending the both teams have a ton of star power. Like part of it to me is just, and that's where the Browns chiefs just a ton of famous players. Like Odell's just back in the mid. You're just going to be like, Whoa, a lot happening. I got to go number one with you. I go bucks, uh, Cowboys. I would submit with you. Uh, so it sounds like you agree. Browns chiefs is number two. You could you could make a running Russell Wilson Carson Wentz because I think the Colts are gonna be pretty damn good. Uh, I, I'm a sucker for just a you know Pittman Jr. Jonathan Taylor. I just like their squad. Mm -hmm. Seattle's just I mean they they consistently play just entertaining well, games. Well, you told me this ended up the best game of the day or the week. That wouldn't surprise anybody. I'm with you. There's something to be said. The Stafford element, Carson, new quarterback in a new uniform. That's that's pretty intriguing. You know what? I'm with you. I'm going to go Seahawks, Colts over Browns, Chiefs. I'll go Browns, Chiefs, three. Seahawks, Colts, okay. two. I, NFC, I you, and a big big NFC uh, bias here. Three of the four teams we mentioned, they're NFC teams. Seahawks, Seahawks, Colts, a great game. Um, hell, Seahawks, Eagles has been, Seahawks and Carson has been good before. Okay, number four. Bill Steelers? You know. Bear, is that where so Bears, Rams ends up if it's Fields? Yeah, I think those are in the mix. I I, I think he, the Raiders, Lamar Jackson, Monday Night Football, because I'm I'm factoring in the time of your game, right? To me, Monday Night Football. That's like if you gave me Bears Rams 10 a.m. kickoff in Chicago, like not as interesting. Sunday Night Football, that's a pretty big deal. That's where I lean Raiders Ravens. Just John Gruden Monday Night Football. Like he's when when you see the you know the two poster guys i mean it will be Derek versus lamar but it's really gruden versus the ravens lamar and, and harbaugh like is he just going to get smoked on monday night football cuz the ravens are better a guy like lamar runs their circles just around d their defense the last decade are they better gus bradley there now you could make the push the chargers aren't the national brand but justin herbert's had the best rookie season we've ever seen against a playoff team on the road you text me this morning, like it is his first real, you know, away game with fans. Like, yeah. That's that that place is gonna be rocking. Do you want to be here for Monday Night Football, by the way? I would. You want to go in the in the suite? Get a suite. Uh, you yeah. Think, look, you want me to text Bedane see if he can get us some tickets? <laughs> we could we could ask around. Yeah, you've got some. Maybe Papa knows somebody. Um, yeah. Now I I love to me the Herbert Washington thing is a big deal, but I can't. That game's not top five. I agree. I, that was that was you know selfish there. Ravens Raiders. I think you make the case they should be ahead of 
uh, Bears, Rams, just because you don't know on fields. But I think you could argue, even if you don't know on fields, the Rams with Stafford belongs in the top five. Um, so, you know, I also think Tua's, Tua, this, Tua's first start at New England, I mean, is is uh, Aaron Rodgers on the Broncos for this Giants game or is Aaron Rodgers on the Packers at the Saints? Like, that's interesting. We, the, almost every game has something good. But um, I'm with you on Ravens. Raiders belonging, but I also think Bill Steelers belongs. So the question is, we're kind of picking two spots for Rams, Bears, Ravens, Raiders, Bill Steelers to round out. Wait, is that six teams? Anyway, they have yeah, six. I mean, so, I, I, yeah, two I, spots I, you, for those you, three games. You would probably have to throw Bill Steelers. Those from two playoff teams. I know technically the Bears were, but they were an eight and eight playoff team, right? I mean, the Bills and Steelers were legit 11, 12, 13, like, you know, high win teams. The Steelers won the both teams won their divisions. I, I think the Bills are just. You could make the argument going into the season they're the clear number two team against you know behind the Chiefs in the AFC. Yeah. Like the, to me, they are legit. Like if they could whatever figure out the reason that you know the Chiefs kind of kicked their ass twice. If you could just shrink that gap, and the great part about football, it's a one off. I don't think it's inconceivable that they were to win the AFC. Right? No, I, I think you could pick them. Yeah. Like, if now, I'm a diehard Bills fan, I feel very, very, like, I'm as excited as this season as I've been in 25 years. And last season was Bills the highest fan, yeah. in the 25 years. Yeah. This season, I'm even more confident. Can Josh Allen take another better. step? Does he get worse? Yeah, we added Does a couple he... guys on. They, they drafted multiple pass rushers. I was reading an article on The Athletic on their second round pick last night, and it hit me. They drafted a pass rusher from Miami in the first round. They drafted this other dude, I think, from Wake Forest in the second round. They're kind of building it a little bit like the 49ers a couple years ago. We're just we're going to rush the shit out of the, the opposing quarterback, and we're going to try to score points. That's going to be our philosophy. We yeah. have a defensive head coach. I, 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 honestly, if you told me the Bills have the best record in the league this season, not totally out of the realm of possibility. They've, they've drafted defensive line with their top pick three years in a row since they drafted Josh Allen. Smart. Ed Oliver, A.J. Epinesa, and then you mentioned Gregory Rousseau from uh, from Miami. Um, okay, so are you – I ultimately what I would do – I'll go Steelers-Bills. I go that four. I'd go Ravens, Raiders, five. It pains me not to have Bears-Rams in the top five because one of the best things, I think, and we don't get this a lot, is a star quarterback on a new team in a new uniform. We're getting a lot of that this, this week. Um we're getting, you know, the Colts and the and the Rams and maybe Rodgers. We'll see. So it pains me not to have Rams, Bears. If you told me Justin Fields is starting, I'd have to find a place for them in my top five, though. We have not mentioned this game, and it wouldn't go top five, but it's a pretty good game on paper, Cardinals-Titans. I mean, the Titans have been a playoff team now several, multiple years in a row. Vrabel's clearly probably the best young defensive coach. I guess him or McDermott. And the Cards are just good, and they're an entertaining watch. Like, that's... You said sneaky that the Seattle Colts could be the best. Would it shock you if that game is really entertaining? Cardinals Titans? No. I mean, all these games. Like, if if I told you that, um, well, maybe Eagles Falcons couldn't be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. How about Jets Panthers? Uh, Eagles Falcons, the worst game on this list. By the way, let's give out. Give uh, out an award. I mean, J- J- Jax Texans is pretty terrible. Back Trevor game. Lawrence, though? Yeah, just Texans. Blech. I know, but at least I get to watch Trevor Lawrence's debut. Urban Meyer's debut. I just, the Texans are rough. Just You just throw them in a game, I'm out. Here's the thing about Jets-Panthers. Uh, the Jets don't really have anybody that would even compete for Zach Wilson. Like, Zach Wilson's going to be the starting quarterback of the New York Jets. Zach when Wilson's go, the starter. He's the yeah. starter, yeah. <laughs> when they go play the Panthers and Sam Darnold. Uh, that's pretty attractive. Well, I mean, I think we, we got we got five rookie quarterbacks to win the top 15. Trevor's a starter. Zach Wilson's the starter. I, m- my gut says Justin Fields ends up the starter. Trey Lance, probably not. I, I do think Mac is up for debate. You would say the New England, you see Belichick's week one, but I, I that one's probably a coin flip for me. It's not Two inconceivable. Alabama like guys. four of the five guys start week one. Two of Four versus, rookies. Two of versus Mac Jones week one. I mean, you think that's an accident? Are they thinking maybe that's what would happen week one with I, that game? I, that, didn't even, that didn't even hit me. That's I'm all in if that's the case. <laughs> all right. We love it. Tell us uh, what we're missing here in the comments below.